ready for a deep dive into a fundamental truth about life. We're tackling change, that thing that's always happening, whether we like it or not. It's like that saying that only constant IS change. Exactly. Yeah. And we've got this source that connects it to Zen philosophy using something we can all relate to. Sandcastles. Oh, I love that analogy, the sandcastle. It's so visual, right? Yeah, you put all this work into building this intricate thing. And then whoosh, a wave comes in and wipes it out. Gone, just like that. Our jobs, relationships, that favorite coffee shop that closed down. It's classic impermanence, a core idea in Zen Buddhism. So how do we deal with that? Knowing that everything is temporary, constantly changing? Well, the source suggests we can actually find a sense of excitement in it. Really? How so? I mean, it's stressful. Of course, change can be tough. But imagine if everything always stayed the same. I guess that would be kind of boring. Exactly. Change brings new opportunities, new experiences. It's a chance for growth. Like a blank slate, mm -hmm. instead of clinging to how things used to be. You get to create something new, something maybe even better. There's a Zen story about this. Oh, tell me. I love a good Zen story. So this Zen master had a prized teacup. One day, a student accidentally breaks it, mm -hmm. and the master, instead of getting upset, simply said, the cup was already broken. Wow. Meaning, from the moment it was created, its destruction was inevitable, just like everything else. That's deep. So are we supposed to just accept everything, good or bad? Not exactly. It's more about accepting that change is inevitable. Fighting it only brings suffering. So it's about letting go rather than clinging. Exactly. And when you do that, it frees up your energy to focus on what you can control, your response to the change. This is making me think about all those sandcastles in my own life that got washed away. Graduations, moving, career changes. What were some of those moments for you? Where did you have to rebuild? Oh man, graduating college was a big one. I had this whole plan and then, well, life happened. And you know what? It all worked out. I actually built something way better than what I originally imagined. You see, Change can lead to amazing things. It's about shifting our perspective. So instead of dreading change, we can choose to see it as an opportunity. Absolutely. Embrace the unknown. Who knows what incredible things you might create. This has been such an eye-opening deep dive. So to wrap it up for our listeners, change is a constant, but it's up to us how we experience it. Will we resist it and suffer? Or will we accept it and thrive? Big questions for everyone listening to ponder. What sandcastles are you holding on to? And how can understanding the Zen principle help you navigate the changes happening in your life right now? Think about it. Until next time, deep divers, stay curious.